Good. Today is going to be a bit different because it's my second week when I'm doing YouTube videos now and I wanted to make something special. So I'm going to go to school, going to go to work and then I'm going to be back here to tell you a little story. I'm home now, and now I'm gonna tell you a little story about me. And it starts with this. I had it yesterday in the mail, and it is pretty much a map. Because that is pretty much very important for my whole goal and my whole life, and my whole story begins there. This is what made my life what it is right now. Because I was born in Germany, pretty much close to Hamburg where I live right now. So I was born here. That was where I was born and I was actually adopted right after birth so it's not a big deal but that was could have been a big part of my life because my parents liked to live somewhere else, they lived in Switzerland but they were also born in Hamburg. So after I was born, after I was like at one year or a few months old, we moved here to Connecticut, New Canaan actually, so pretty close to New York. And that changed my life a lot because now you always hear me talking English. Why is that? Because I was living there for seven years, six and a half years about. That kind of changed my whole life. So I was raised in America, I grew up in America, I lived with American people, I had interaction with them. That was kind of my way of living, I grew up with that. And always when people tell me like, yeah, how can you like America with all the bad political things and guns and all that shit? I do not care about that. I grew up with a way of living, with the houses, with the streets, how the cars were, everything about the living. Not about the political or bad things, because there are bad things all over the world. I like the way of living, the language, because I don't like German. But that was where I was for the next six and a half years until I was about seven and a half. Then, because of the 11th of December, we had to move back because my dad was working all over the world, some were here, some were there, some were here, and flights were cancelled a lot and we just bought a house on Zöld, which is pretty much there, an island in the north of Germany. They bought a house there and it was pretty obvious he couldn't work from America anymore because he had to fly and that didn't work to that time, so it was like, yeah, let's just do this. So we went back in 2001 and there on this little island, so when I was on Zöld on the island I had to have some things that hold me, that gave me some closure and just made me feel like I was at home because I did not like Germany, I did not like the island, I didn't like the language. So what did I do? So this is where I grew up. This is the house in America we had. Flat, brick stones, a big garden, a pool on the background. I loved it. It was beautiful. I really loved it. And there in the garage was one of our many cars that we always had over the years because my dad loved to buy cars. And we had one in particular that kind of gave me a big anchor for my life. Because when I was 18, I needed to get a car. Of course. Who doesn't want that? So my first choice was this 1979 Wrangler. And it was awesome. I got it because I had some stocks from Apple that I saved in and they saved me a lot of money because they got kind of grew in one month and then they, they went away a lot. I would have lost a lot of money if I wouldn't have bought this car. So this was awesome because we had exactly the same model, 1979 in red, same tires, same number, same engine, whatever it was, we had the same exact car. That gave me a huge anchor in my life because I needed a connection to America, I needed that for me. We had a lot of fun with that car because it was super open, it was fun, I love the, how it looks because that's how no other car looks. With my best friend we had a lot of fun this, in the summer driving open and just relaxing. But well, Zult was not always fun. It is very empty in the winter, but that is beautiful because you have a lot of sand and beach for yourself. As you can see here, that's, that is beautiful. But in the summer, it's very crowded and you don't even want to live there. So that is a good part about Zöld. It was very beautiful and silent and nature-like if you're there in the winter or autumn or whatever, but not in the summer because then it's full and then you really hate it. And that is where I stayed for the next 13 years. It was a pain in the ass. I lost all of my accent in school in like 11 years of English class. I lost my whole accent. 
the English classes weren't good, the teachers, I didn't like them, we didn't learn a lot. So that's why I'm really sorry about my accent and how I pronounce things and how I sometimes forget words. It's just, I completely forgot it and I cannot get it back somehow. Because I do watch English movies, English TV shows, I read English books, I try to do everything in English. Even my girlfriend now, she's from India and we always talk in English. That is just so awesome for me because that is what I like. My best friend from work, he's from America, we always talk in English, so at work, at home, I can talk in English. Just in school, I have to speak in German. But that's the last thing I can do, because even at YouTube, I want to talk in English. And that's what this video is about, why I'm talking in English. And this whole history is the reason why I want to grab to it, and I want to go back there someday when I can. With all the history that I have, I want to buy a Wrangler again, I want to have the connection, I want to get a tattoo that shows me where I belong, where I'm from. Because people always say like, you're German, you're not American. But the thing is, I was just born in Germany. I did not choose to be born here, the su as stupid as it sounds, it's true. I grew up in America, the way of living is just mine. That is who I am. I'm American from heart, maybe from birth I'm German, but that's okay. So to all these people that say like, you're German because you were born here, I do not care. I've, I belong where my heart feels is right for me and that is America. It is English, I love it and I'm always gonna belong there and that's why I do videos and YouTube things in English because I just want to connect to people in my way of living and that's English. I love English in this vlog. For two weeks now I've done a vlog every time, 14 vlogs now and I hope it's gonna go for a long time because I really enjoy it. I hope I'm gonna get more interactions. I really love comments and replying to them. So that's gonna be it for today and that is my story how I got to English. See you tomorrow guys.